Hi guys, today we're going to do something a bit different. So we're going to get into Hobby Electronics. And what we have here is an Arduino Nano. It's got the same chip as an Arduino Uno, but it's just in a smaller profile. And it comes with breakout pins, and this is just a breakout board. So it just clips onto the breakout board. You could also use it on a red board like this so I've got uh, I've got an Arduino Nano on a breadboard with a temperature and humidity sensor there and a Nokia 5110 LCD so today we're going to show you how to use the PWM or pulse wave modulation pins on the Nano now the chip has specific pins that are PWM pins so you can't use any of them you got to use specific ones so for example pin 9 is one of them and I'm using pin 10 here and what you can do with the PWM pins is you can you can fade in or fade out an LED for example you can also control maybe a moto speed so it gives you variable speeds for moto or also you can then fade an led out you if you if you don't use pwm and you you just use any other pin then the led will just be steady as you can see here uh, the led is getting brighter and then dimmer and it's doing that all the time so that's basically it and then we'll show you now how to write the program to it on, according to the Arduino reference, on for the Uno, Nano and the Mini, these are the pins that support PWM. So as long as you use any of these pins with your sample code, then you're going to get that to work. So next, we'll show you how to write the sample code to that, which is from here. We'll place this link in the description. And this is just a circuit diagram. On my example, I had an LED that that was had a that had a resistor already soldered onto it. But if you have a 220 ohm resistor or even a 1K, it, it would work. Some jumper wires, maybe a breadboard, you could uh, you could just use it like that. So you just need to copy this code here and then paste it into your Arduino IDE and make sure that your Arduino is plugged in select the appropriate board so we're gonna go into boards AVR boards select the Nano and then I'm using the old booter, bootloader version so I'm just gonna select that and then just make sure that my port is selected here and then we're going to go ahead and write the code. Okay, so all of that, once everything is hooked up, we've got old bootloader selected, COM13 and Arduino Nano. Then we can go ahead and upload the code. And if you have a look at the, the LEDs for TX and RX, you can see that they're flashing. It means that the code has been uploaded or it was busy uploading. And then once it's done uploading, then you can take a look at the LED and you can see that it is going dimmer and brighter and it's just doing that all the time because that's what the code here in the loop has, is instructing it to do. Thank you for watching and uh, please Hit like if you like the video and feel free to comment and please subscribe. It really helps us out. Thank you.